Well, to know this came together nicely, uh, some of my favorite areas are toward the center where we can see through a transparent shape to a variety of differently colored shapes behind. Also, you bring an interesting matter to our attention. Uh, what is the difference? What is the comparison between a shape that becomes a tint through becoming more transparent and an opaque uh, tinted shape? So we looked at the top center and the bottom center. We can see both shapes are pink. One seems to be pink because its opacity is lessened and the other is quite opaque. You know, the diagonal lines around uh, this group of shapes, it seems to suggest speed. This seems like a conglomerate that is speeding through space. Well, hi, Megan, you have an interesting concept. And um, of course, because you're working with an interior design theme in an RP section, all eyes are on you. Um, you know, I realized that you decided to use SketchUp, which is not class software. You've come up with some interesting things, but I think in the process, color has been sidelined a little bit. Um, and I wonder whether it was possible to color these in Photoshop. I'm thinking you were trying to color a SketchUp file in Photoshop for assignment three, and the result was uh, solid colors without the modeling or variation that we see here. So um, this assignment has a, a degree of success. However, um, the focus has been shifted a bit. Well, Hillary, you know, the Tetrad is probably the most complex of the harmonies that we've used. And I noticed in your earlier version, the center was very pale tint of blue. It was actually a little deceiving. I thought it was white at first until I went in with the color picker. And I noticed here that you've taken a suggestion from a classmate. In fact, more than one suggestion. But I'm thinking of the uh, pale green toward the center, which really livens things up. The colors here just sing. And... Um, I think part of uh, the success is owing to your versatility and willingness to go in there and make a lot of changes. Um, one thing that occurs to me about this design is I'm imagining it in monochrome orange as a cut half of an orange, the fruit. Hi, Cedric. You know, I was prompting you to put a color wheel in here and name the harmony. In fact, I think I sent you an email with a color wheel attached to try to make it easy for you. But alas, we don't have a harmony name and we didn't see any harmony names in uh, assignment three last week either, which is making me wonder how well you're understanding these harmonies since I can't figure what harmony this would be anyway. Um, but I do want to compliment you, Cedric, uh, looking at the uh, progression of your work from uh, assignment two, you have come up with something that's quite beautiful, even if it doesn't display the concepts, obviously. Well, hi, Cheryl. You know, when mention of a peacock feather came up, of course, I thought back to your photo and your peacock tattoo. And uh, this is a lovely abstraction on an idea that is dear to you. And it's quite successful, you know, in um, Assignment 3 last week, I was a little concerned about resolution, but any matters uh, related to that seem to have been solved. And there's a lovely contrast of um, softness and focus in this work. As you know, um, my one suggestion would be to perhaps center the central element. Um, I feel that when things are close to being centered, it helps to center them exactly and then the design seems controlled not that the spirals would have to be evenly placed hi renee i can see that you've changed this file around a great deal again thank you for your involvement with a final project and with class generally looking over the user activity report i can see that you were in class 100 hours more or so than the person who was in class at least. So thank you for your dedication. Um, looking at this, there are some small changes I might suggest. However, um, nothing is terribly important. Let's see, what is that? What is that called? That item with the H over the door? I think that's the lintel, right? Um, 
Well, maybe that could be scooted down so that we don't see the singles between it and the top of the door. Maybe it should be as wide as the bricks at the jams. Maybe it should be extended just a smidge. Uh, otherwise, they think you look good. The windows look like they're low, but I understand that you're trying to show us all the different uh, materials from which a house is built versus exactly the proportion. Like Renee's crystals is another good example of a monochrome harmony where the color has been controlled and comes from one hue only. Um, Crystal, you have really done a nice job um, advancing this design. It is far more interesting and appropriate to a final project than it was in its last phase. Thank you for pushing so hard. Um, I like the changes in stroke weight and also um, the altered shapes at top right and bottom left. The drop shadow adds interest too. If there's anything that we could find wanting here, it just might be file size. Um, this is the actual size of the file. Well, we can see that Joe has an interesting new solution. He has gone back and redrawn his entire composition using the pen tool, I believe. And um, this design exerts a great deal more control than his previous designs, which were perhaps first experiments with the pen tool. Um, let's see. Uh, I, I see one little problem here, and this could have to do um, with a combination of the um, drawing and, and the uh, plastic wrap filter, but I'm thinking um, it might have to do with resolution too. If we look toward the top, notice that we see jagged edges on the arcs. Um, arcs can be problematic this way. Um, and I want you to make sure that you start at 300 pixels per inch in future. And also make sure that anti-aliasing is checked. Hi, Kathleen. I, I noticed that looking over last week's critiques, one of your classmates observed um, that when color was applied to your designs in assignment three, they lost uh, some detail. And, and I think that is a little problem here. Uh, so you may like to check your method. For example, if we look to the top of the exterior lime green frame, we can see that the, um, the blue border next to it, um, it is a little irregular. Also in the top right, there's a line hanging off there, which is actually something you could probably fix um, without too much trouble. Uh, also, I like crystals. I wish this file was a little bigger. However, you know, sometimes in hindsight, you can figure out what you could have done a little different and do things differently in future. You know, um, the combination of what might be a stained glass effect and the um, saturated hues around the periphery is, is interesting. I actually see the stained glass as being more like a mosaic. To me, those colors look quite opaque. And I do like the effect. I, I'm thinking that because the central element, the cross with a shroud draped over it, is muted, that perhaps it would become more a centerpiece if the surrounding colors were somewhat muted too. Conversely, you could uh, saturate the color in the cross and mute the colors surrounding. Well, hi, Lana. You've created something that's really quite beautiful and somewhat related to the work that we saw in week five. This is very different and the only version of it that you posted. You know, I went right away to your artist statement because I was interested to learn how this was done. Um, however, you don't really give much in the way of software details there. And so I'm keen to see the native file, the AI. I understand you did this in Illustrator. Um, well, I can see how this meets your idea presented in the proposal. When I look at the mm, color harmonies, uh, this is closest to Tetrad, though it isn't that exactly. Um, and one goal for this assignment was to implement one of the many harmonies that were described in week five.